So let's do some trading. Uh, I trade with small stakes. I use 10 pound stakes to illustrate one important point. If you cannot make money with 10 pound stakes, you will not make money with 100 pound stakes or 50 pound stakes or 500 pound stakes. You have to learn the basics. You have to understand why your trade is going right or wrong and move forward. Okay. So I use small stakes to illustrate this point. If you want to learn to trade the way I do, then make sure you click on the link in the description or jump over to uh, tradingonbetfair.com uh, to learn how to tr trade like I do and how to make actually winning trades with any size stake, all right? Uh, but for now, I'll jump in and start trading. So here we are then, um, uh, Chepsto and a couple of horses of interest. And again, it's quite far out, so I'm now gonna kick back and just uh, wait for things to liven up. Uh, but I might actually, the favourite is starting to drift quite heavily, so I might just pop in here with a quick uh, £10, just to, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm anticipating a little bit of a comeback here, uh, a drawback before it reaches out again, also because the second favourite here is hitting the 4, and you know, that is going to be a resistance, so I'm expecting that to bounce back a bit as well. So I'll leave that there and I'll come back in a few minutes and uh, because obviously nothing much is going to happen now anyway. Uh, so I'll come back in a few minutes. So I'm just going to pop in here real quick and just scratch this trade here. And that's because there was a huge stake of £3,000 come in on the lay side and just uh, took a huge chunk here. So it hasn't moved, I'm not in a loss or anything, uh, but because of that large chunk, I'm expecting this to maybe just add more. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna reverse my position here and jump on the back side of the second favorite and scratch this trade here uh, because of that huge chunk of money that came in there with, with anticipation that uh, that might continue uh, because that was a, a large chunk of cash to come in um, at uh, about 3.35 so I'll now I've, I've now changed my mind I'm now going to change that to back in a second and laying that one and I'll come back in a few minutes and see how this matures so you can see now uh, just a few seconds later that this is now hopefully going to break through the four uh, you can see there's some momentum here, and you can see there is money money being matched now at four, uh, so this is a good sign. Uh, so I'm, in, I'm hoping this will uh, break through here now, which it is. And you can see more money's being matched in the bottom. You can see there now. So I'm gonna, I've got my exit point here, and uh, we'll see how this goes. You can see there's nothing. There's no reaction here in this one here, and there's a three thousand pounds sitting there. So how far it will go, I don't know. We'll see. Might even drag this up just to get myself in a bit of green to begin with. Uh, or not, we'll see. Oh, do, do, do. Yeah, let's leave that for now. I'm right in front of the queue here, so I'll leave that. There we go. And now I'll just pause this again. I'll come back. In, I'll come back when it's like five minutes. So what I did there—that was just me. I, I was just reading the market. Okay, I was reading the way I saw it. Okay, I made the decision first time round, but because of the three thousand pound I came in, I changed my mind and I flipped over to this one because so I can see that. And because it's so far out, and because the market is moving uh, nice and slow, and because there's already a lot of money matched in the market, I knew I could do that, and I, I knew I could just sit back and just wait. So it seems always, you know, that was only a £10 stake. Had that been a £50 stake, this would be a, a £5 profit for virtually nothing, okay? Uh, so I'm going to pause it now. I'll come back at five minutes um, uh, when the race, you know, when the market picks up. So with five minutes on the clock looming, um, right now I don't really see anything I'm going to jump on. Uh, I, f I do feel this, uh, you can't see it here because uh, it's off screen, but the fourth favourite... Looks like it might come in a bit, but I'm not, I'm not going to trade that one. Um, I'm going to focus on these two here for now. And as you can see, the favourite here is just settling in. There's a lot, all the money's matched on 3.4 and 3.35. And now it is, it looks like it might start drifting, but you know, uh, there's just no way of telling really. Um, so at this point, there's not really much I can do here. Uh, just bring up the live feed. Do, 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 do. Let's 
So, like I said, you, you can see here, there's, there's no real movement at all. Um, uh, it does look like this one might start drifting if this starts to get matched on the 3.5, but... So you can see here there's not really much going on. And as I said before, the fourth favourite is coming in quite heavily. As I mentioned, you can see here, this one here. So I should have acted on that one, but you know. Should have, would have, could have, right? I should, you know, <laughs> but you know, just just the fact that I saw that and I I, I felt that was going to happen again, it means that you know, even when you don't react, just the fact that you're calling it, you're actually saying this is going to happen and that happens, that is a good sign, all right. And like I said before, you know, trading trading live and talking and recording is it, it is tricky, um, so that's why I sometimes miss those opportunities. But the fact that I I called it long before it happened. Uh, shows that you know I you know <laughs> I do know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so uh, right now, right now I'll just um, I'll keep looking for something to trade. So you can see the favor is just going out again. Probably pop in there for a quick scalp if I can. Taken there. Uh, second favorite seems to be settling in around the fours, but you, know, you can see there's not really anything happening, right? This is a very, very flat. Any movement there is, it, it, there are, it's just like one or two ticks and then it just sort of uh, hovers around. So there's not really much I can go on here. Second favorite is definitely drifting a little bit. Uh, this one's a, a boring market, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. So a bit of money came on the lay side there on the favourite. But to be quite honest, with only 60 seconds on the clock, I'm not really going to trade anything here because I can't really see anything that's standing out to me. Uh, so I'll probably leave it there. Uh, the horses are still faffing around trying to get to start, so there's no real hurry. <coughs> Now you can see the second favourite is coming in, the favourite is crashing out. So a huge chunk of money came in there for on the lace side on the favourite. You can see it's still going out, so I might jump on the back side here, just to try and steal a couple of ticks. But that's not gonna happen, so I'm gonna try and scratch that there. You can see now it's gone over the four. Hopefully that will get scratched. Like I said, you know, it's, it's, I'd rather scratch something and you know get something wrong than actually just leave it and try and chase it just because I was too proud to to admit I, I made a mistake. You know, so uh, so hopefully that gets taken, but it doesn't look like it's gonna. I might just drag that up there just to get it filled because you know you see there's a big chunk of money there, so I'd rather just get it filled and because also also there they are about to line up now, so but again there's no biggie.
So with that in mind, I'll just scratch this out here for a 76 pence profit. Again, as always, yes, um, it's only 76p, but I'm using 10 pound stakes to illustrate. You know, if I was using 50 pound stakes there, uh, you know, that would be about 3 pound 50, right? So, you know, 3 pound 50 profit is not to be sneezed at, uh, because that is close to 100 pound a day. Um, so right now, you know, they're they're lining up, everything, they're good to go. So I'll just uh, finish up here and I'll move on to the next race.